All right, hey there, and welcome to this Vanquisher video. In this video, we're going to be doing Razu Palace in the Factions Gantha campaign here. Uh, we are also one title, one Vanquish, and one title away from our legendary Vanquisher. So, I'm finally on this video now. Been looking forward to it for a while. And last video, I forgot to point out, we hit uh, I have many leather bound books at 21 max titles. That was for maxing the two Vanquishers. So we had 19, which one Vanquisher brought to 20, and the other one brought to 21. So looking forward to hitting 22 now, and then we have three more until my Gilhel smells of rich mahogany. Mahogany? There we go. So, and hopefully that will be our cartographer titles that will bring us up to there. Alright, well, let's start our Vanquish here. Let's get rid of these fruitcakes. They're just taking up space. Alright. Let's head on over to our portal. Nowhere to run, go. Alright, and don't forget to put a uh, hard mode on, which we did. There we go. Okay, now we're going to be running our, my basic um, main and seven hero build. It's actually on our Facebook page, Guild Wars 1 Guides. Um, it has a walkthrough of what we'll use. I have not changed anything for this Vanquish. So you can just check that video out as well if you will like. Alright, let's check out uh, Kunavang here. I have received your need and I am here. I can once again provide you a temporary power if you wish it. Yes, please. Star Servant, summon level 25 Celestial Horror. Your party members gain 25 health and 3 energy each time the Celestial Horror lands and attack. Ooh, where do we want to put that? Well, I think I'm going to equip it there. Alright. And now for the Vanquish in this area. I've actually already been through um, here and Vanquish all that I could. It's uh, You can check our cartography part 1 video on our YouTube page. Which this will be going on to. And that video shows this area and how to get through it. I mean part 2. You would be on our part two, I believe. All right. Actually, this area is on our cartography part one video. It's at about the 10 minute mark. So that shows how to get into the divine path, Razu Palace, Imperial Sanctum, Southern area for mapping. So I did do all the boats up in the upper area as well. All right, let's start this off by taking down some Sherokins. Get our cons going. Alright, here we go. Alright, working on our second group here. Doing good so far. Oh, there goes my slush deal horror. Alright, just to double check for any foes this way. Alright, just be careful of the monk and ritualist here. Uh, good healers, and there is a res as well. I believe it's a spirit from the ritualist. So, so no matter what, you know, the spirit dies from us killing it, they will still resurrect. So just watch out there. Alright, we have a portal up here, so just be careful of this area. We have a boss, untouched, ancient Kai. So we're going to actually pull this group here by the portal. Let's get our longbow out. There we go. Oh, I have a speed boost on. Alright, you got the other monks down, now we're just going to work on the boss here. Oh, 
Oh, almost. There we go, the boss is down. Alright, those are not portals, they are globs of light. And if you get too close while fighting the boss, it will actually spawn more enemies. So just be careful and try to pull the groups away from it and take a different path to go by. And there we go, our heroes actually went that way and pulled the group. Guess we're going to have to take them down here. Well, Melanie's getting her uh, workout right now, keeping the team all healed up. Her energy control is doing really great too. Alright, got a lock chest coming up here. Let's just check it in 3, 2, 1. Alright, Earth one, and we broke the lockpick, that's a gold, so that's alright. Okay, on to the next group here. Alright, another light here, and we're going to actually go around it, and possibly just grab two groups here for no apparent reason at all. <laughs> Two down. Got here, we got here. Smiting rod and then there broken lock pick on the gold. No crabs. <clears throat> we uh, just did a loop here. We're heading back now. Forgot to check the red shrines on the way. But here we have a champion Balthazar. And I think that I'm good though. Alright. And that's just um, using the slash kneel and then. It'll pop up once you kneel at the shrine. Yeah, let's find some more groups here. Right. Now we're gonna aim for the silent ancient Onata lock chest up there too. Take down this group here first. And there is a blob of light over there, just be careful not to go near it. Alright, there's a glob of light over there, so we're just going to stay back here and take down our assassin boss here. And they're down, alright. And there's a lock chest near the glob of light, so I don't believe we're going to be getting that one. That's alright. Take down this group around the corner here. Okay, the Arcane Ancient Phi B, that's my boss here. I'm gonna try to actually get from the other side, so we're just gonna backtrack here. I think I saw a group near the beginning that we did not do. Alright, at the first resurrection shrine is Avatar Duena. Plus one health, I'll grab that. Plus 10 armor, monk, and air. Uh, thank you, Avatar Duena. Alright, that's where we started. That was the portal, and there was actually a left turn we can take over here. So, when this works, we're going towards the Mesmer boss. Alright, let's take down this group here. Alright, the foes just showed me that this door is not a door. You can just walk right through. Alright, then. Let's take down this group over here. I uh, highly recommend to throw a pain inverter on the Sheraton Mesmers. Once there's an enchant out, the Mesmer actually commits suicide, shatter, hex, or close enough to at least. There we go, Mesmer is down. Alright, that was close. There's a glob of light here, and I don't think it spawns any foes if there's no boss, but just, just in case, we will move away from it. Let's try this Mesmer again here. Keep my eye on them. Shatter Hex, and the Mesmer is almost down. There it goes. Alright, working our way to the Mesmer boss, just over here, which we should be able to pull from the Glob of Light. There's also a Necromancer one here. I don't think I'm going to get that locked chest though, which is alright. Alright, oh, now the boss is on the other side of the Glob of Light. Right, let's hang on here. There we go. 
Oh, minions might pull. Just back up a little bit here. There we go. And Mesmer one's down. Alright, let's look at the Necro ones. Alright, the bow. There's the boss. Ah, that's good enough. Excellent. Doom Ancient Cross is down. Good day. Alright, let's keep going. Just gonna let the other group come to us here. Or Norgu can go to them. Have fun, Norgu. Alright, we got a ranger boss here. Famished Ancient Burne? Burne? Bur Burna? Something like that. And I don't think there is a global light around this one. It's too bad there isn't a mock chest to make up for the other two that we sacrificed. But oh well. Alright. Ranger, you're down. Good job, team. Alright, for this area, watch out for your uh, aggro range here because the groups are really tight, especially on the staircases. There we go, and we pulled both groups, so I think we're just going to stay back here and let the enemies do most of the work. We're just going to flag the heroes here. Get my spirits in the front. Alright, excellent. Just look at the minions over here. Just devouring everything in their path. Way to go. Right, should be able to unplug the heroes now. Uh, looks like we got a large chest coming up. Excellent. Hopefully there's no globs of light beside it. <laughs> Alright, and I uh was wrong. Lock chest has a glob of light. And we have a elementalist boss, Star Ancient Kusun, and a warrior boss, Sword Ancient Kai. We could have actually approached this warrior boss from the other resurrection shrine in front of us, and I guess I missed the turn to come this way, which is no problem. Now we gotta flag the heroes and pull the boss out of its little hiding space here. There we go. If we will come, don't go in there, go along. Come here. <clears throat> yeah, I'm here. Come on. There we go. There's the elementalist one here. Come on. Gonna be like that, hey? Oh, warrior one is down. And our elementalist one does not want to come out. Alright, guess we're getting this lock chest because we are gonna take this elementalist one down. There's our pop-ups. And the Elementalist is actually down right away. That was very quick. Alright. Let's get our lock chest. What have we got? What have we got? Golden Phoenix Blade. Wreck 10 max damage. That's actually not that bad. I'll just keep it to the side. Alright. All right. The next group here. I think we only have a few groups left. Alright, grab two groups at once. Let's see how we do. Here we go. All these uh, melee foes here just walk into their doom. Soul stones, pretty sure Nicholas and Trevor Cluxos, that's why I have been picking them up just to add to my collection. 
Let's see. Defiant Ancient Seer. Oh, a ritualist boss. Do we have a glob of light nearby? Does not look like it. Let's take it down. Alright, and there goes the boss. Oop. Right. Oh, no, it healed up a bit. Health is just bouncing over the place. There they go. Uh, spirit to restoration. Be careful of the spirit because this is what's creating a problem. Keeps resurrecting the foes. Make sure he does not cast restoration. There it is again. This has been going on for like ever. It's been like a five plus minutes of just killing and killing and killing. Ah. Interrupt, interrupt, interrupt. No restoration. There we go. Finally, and it's just in time that we aggro the other group. Whew. Okay, I really hope this is the last group. Whew. Group of melee operated foes. Come on, last group. We yeah, 240 foes. How's our time? In 50 minutes, and we are done. Oh, Vanquisher is done. There's our legendary Vanquisher title as well. Alonian, Canthan Vanquisher, Tarian Vanquisher. All done. Whoa. Way to go, team. That is awesome. Now, how's our max titles looking here? A many leather bound books. Two more max titles to do. The guild house smells of rich mahogany. Alright, time to go cash our quest in. Alright. Zenchuization challenge. Except, thank you. I like my alliance being so great, supportive, and friendly. Just got my legendary vanquish your first time ever. Grats, GZ, well done, nice. Grats. I noticed the notification, yeah, GZ. Anyone for ZZ again? <laughs> Alright, and uh, thank you as well for watching. So, next video should hopefully max our cartographer titles. Alright, thanks for watching. Take your easy until next time.